Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Donnie here, and I'm back with another installment in my classic TV Spotlight series. This is actually a very special video. It comes from a request from my coworker, Jimmy. So thank you, Jim, for the suggestion, if you're watching this. Uh, it, it's a show uh, from the 1960s that I'm going to be talking about. Uh, it's called The Wild Wild West. You know, back in the 50s and 60s, Western shows were kind of all the rage. You know, you know Gunsmoke, Bonanza, Rifleman, Big Valley. So many uh, Western shows were so very popular. But Wild Wild West was very unique um, among the genre. It was kind of like a mixing and melting of different, of different genres. It's... Uh, it was part Western, but also a uh, spy show and es espionage and action adventure and some comedy mix mixed in, you know, that it was described as James Bond on, ho on horseback. Uh, so, you know, it was very intriguing show that I never really watched, you know, unlike some of the, these other shows that I've um, been reviewing. I had just heard of it. I never really watched it until uh, Jimmy told me about this show, and I started, so found, found a channel that aired it and started watching it, and it's very interesting and very um, entertaining show. It stars, uh, there were two main cast members. Um, one is Robert Conrad, who plays uh, James West, and Ross Martin, who plays Artemis Gordon, and they are two Secret Service agents in the 1860s during the Grant administration. And he, and they kind of travel around. They kind of travel around, and they not only protect the president, but they also like uh, fight criminals and solve crimes and mysteries and and all these di different things. And it's kind of like, you know. It's a show where there's not really a lot of like ongoing arcs or anything. You kind of you can kind of just pick up any episode, watch it, and that it's kind of like a um, adventure of the week type show. And they face off with these very you know interesting villains. Uh, they're kind of um, they're kind of like a little like over the top type villains, and you know do some crazy stuff. And they're kind of like. They're very similar to like the Batman type villains on the show. Uh, you know, if you remember the '60s um, Batman series, very similar to that. And you know, so it also, you know, so it mixes in all these different little things, and even science fiction and and whatnot. And you'll see um, there'll be episodes where they have advanced technology and stuff that really isn't for the time, but, you know, you have your suspension of disbelief and, you know, it just works and it's a very entertaining show. So it's, uh, one thing I found interesting, uh, in it was, it was only on for four seasons, which is a pretty solid run for a TV show, but, you know, a lot of Western shows seem to be on for a while. You had, like, Gunsmoke was on for 20 years, which actually was held the record for the longest-running scripted show until uh, Law and Order SVU broke, uh, broke it a few years ago. And, like, Bonanza was on for 14 years, so, you know, it was very similar, but... You know, so in that comparison, and Wild Wild West really wasn't that, you know, didn't really have that great of a run. But what was interesting was that it still had excellent ratings in the fourth season. You know, and you would think, like, you know, CBS was, you know, idiots for canceling it. But at the time, but at this time, violence on television was definitely a big um, concern among people, uh, particularly in, 19, in 1968, you had the assassinations of Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert Kennedy, and so so there was this um, campaign to kind of you know take apart you know 
violence on television and see how much of an influence it was. And there was a, you know, so Congress kind of made this pressure on the TV networks to, you know, address um, the violence that they were perpetuating on their sh- on their shows. But you know, and the Wild Wild West was one of the shows that was kind of like high on the list. Is you know, it was very common for gunfights and explosions and bar brawls and and whatnot. And so it added this extra controversy to the show. Um, to the show, so that's ultimately why it got can why it was canceled and. You know, so it's it's very you know interesting. Now, if you watch it today, like it's by television standards, it's relatively tame. There's nothing real, you know, incredibly bad to it. It's you know, but you know, you have to kind of look at things in context. Um, so ultimately, you know, the, this was a show that you know I I didn't watch at Nick at Night as a kid. I never really knew of it all that much like i knew that they had a film adaptation uh in the 90s with will smith that was kind of a flop you know but i you know was very clueless walking into this so it was so it was interesting that you know as you if you've seen some of my previous videos they were shows that you know i had a good you know recollection of and you know it was nice to be able to go, like, you know, going blind into a show, you know, get to kind of experience it firsthand instead of, you know, revisiting revisiting it. But, you know, but there's nothing wrong with re, uh, revisiting something that you've enjoyed over the years. But, you know, it's good to kind of expand your tastes and, you know, that could be some advice for me. Uh, but even... um. But the four seasons of the show wasn't the end of it. It did come back for a few uh, TV movies throughout the year, throughout the years, and um, you know, you know, adding to the popularity of it. You know, showing how you know popular and beloved it was. Um, I found it on. I found this show on an obscure sh- on an obscure channel. It was called uh, uh, Screen Picks. That as that only shows westerns. In fact, this is the only, you know, so far this is the only TV show that I've noticed on that. They mostly show Western movies, but it's on um, every every night at 6 and 7, and then they re-show the episodes every morning at 6, at six and 7. Uh, so if you're ever interested, check it out. Um, to anyone, you know, who watched it growing up, you know, to those of them back then, you know, what did you think of the show? Did you think it was very violent? You know, let me know in the comments and, and whatnot. And, you know, so ultimately I do, uh, suggest the show if you're, you know, if you're looking for just a fun ride and adventure type of a, a show, this is, um, one to check out. So, uh. I'll just let, let me know, and as always, I'm always looking for suggestions, so, you know, thank you, uh, Jimmy, again, for this uh, suggestion. It was nice to be able to do something different here, and I've had a few uh, a few more people who've, who've you know, mentioned uh, uh, video topics that I uh, plan to explore soon, uh, but... You know, but all but I'm always open for new suggestions. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know the works. And until next time, take it easy.